Hello everyone. Today I'm going to sing a setting I wrote for a psalm, Psalm 62. And if you've been following me at all, you, I've, I've, I sing this a lot. Uh, it, it comes up a lot in my heart. I, I often wake up with it in, uh, playing already in, in my heart or in my head. Um, it seems appropriate again for this moment. So um, I'm going to talk a little bit about the song and then I'll sing it for you. My name is Steve Bell and this is for the journey this week. So I've been thinking a lot, uh, as all of us are, about the uh, Ukrainian refugee crisis that we're dealing with right now. Um, I did a quick search this morning and it looks as if over 13 million people have fled the violence in the Ukraine. As of May 4th, 2022, in Canada alone, 204,000 people have filed for temporary residence visas and 91,000 applications have been approved. And so they're, they're coming and we have uh, the first refugees coming to Manitoba very, very soon now. Um, and this is only a piece of the global refugee crisis uh, where it's estimated that currently there's 84 million people who are currently displaced uh, around the world by violence, food insecurity or climate hazards. Uh, 21 million per year of those are particularly linked to climate change and this number is expected to rise to over a billion by 2050. And the magnitude of all this is, is rather crippling. So I guess the, the point I'm kind of trying to make here is that this is a, a reality of our century, not just this decade or these few years, that, 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 that the, um, the reality of, of millions of displaced people um, is upon us and we as a church need to think carefully about how we're going to respond. What does it mean to give witness to the love of Christ, to the love of God, um, to Yahweh who in the Old Testament is so open to the alien and, and the, uh, the displaced and the, the vulnerable and, um, and basically tells us that, that what it means to be the people of God is to be a people that are open in a similar way. Uh, so I wrote this setting for this psalm a few years ago, um, uh, back in, I can't remember now, 2015, when the Syrian refugee crisis was dominating the news. And the first refugees were arriving during a season, the season of Advent. And I remember weeping when I saw the first plane of beleaguered families land on Canadian soil. Um, and of course, Advent and Christmas is the season where we celebrate Emmanuel, God with us. And I have to ask the question, how is God with us? in this scenario, and that morning I opened up to Psalm 62 because that was the lectionary reading. And there you see it, that God is our refuge um, uh, in that psalm. And, and, and again, my heart wept. <laughs> God is our refuge, that's how God is present to us, that's how God is with us as refuge, as rock, as fortress. The psalm says it that clearly. Um, and then I started thinking that, that throughout the Christmas Advent and Christmas season, the other way that God is with us is as a refugee. Um, the story of Jesus born um, into a vulnerable situation and political unrest and a threat to the, the powers. And Jesus himself um, in his early life is on the road as a refugee uh, to Egypt. So that God is both refuge and God is refugee and that somehow we know God, God is present to us in both of those things. And how do we hold those together um, and participate in the witness of God in how we are present to those who need us and how we're also present to Christ in those who need us. This is Wait Alone in Stillness, Psalm 62. On God alone my soul in stillness waits The glory and the joy of my salvation The rock on which all form of fury breaks My stronghold so that I will not be shaken Wait alone in stillness, O oh my soul Wait alone in stillness, wait alone, O oh my soul steadfast love of God be all my strength, my refuge, my hope, and my elation. The 
the enemies of love in vain rehearse a plot to undermine the hope of nations with tongues they bless but with their hearts they curse and lie in wait to bait love's termination wait alone in stillness oh my soul wait alone in stillness wait alone On the scales we are lighter than a feather I believe and I have heard it said All power belongs to God altogether Wait alone in stillness, oh my soul 